So the question on your mind right now might be, okay, so how does one cultivate social presence in an online class? After all, anyone who has taught online or perhaps taken an online class understands that an entire class of students typically doesn't just jump in and start forming a close-knit community in any learning environment. To foster social presence, the learning environment must be designed with regular opportunities for students to share relevant, meaningful content that places them in the seat of an inquiry-driven learner. You may consider designing problems for students to investigate and have them return with content they located or even created on their own to contribute and share with their peers. This might be in the form of photographs taken with their smartphones, an audio interview with family members or peers, links to videos or news events. Think outside the box of being an instructor who delivers content to your students and instead design experiences for them to plunge into. When students share content that they produced, that content is a reflection of themselves in some way. And it's going to foster a more meaningful discussion with their peers when this content is used as the catalyst of some of the interactions in your online classes. When building a community in an online class, there are also some important fundamentals that should be considered from day one. A learning community is a place where every person feels safe. Creating, sharing, and expressing oneself can make individuals feel vulnerable. You should be sensitive to the fact that your students may never have experienced a class that has expected them to learn and participate in this way. So it's a great idea to start your class by sharing your teaching philosophy that communicates how your students will learn in your class, what your expectations are of them, and why you're, you are approaching your class this way. Think of your teaching philosophy as your vision for the class. Secondly, consider developing a set of ground rules that each member will abide by and ensure members agree to these ground rules at the start of the class. For more directed online learners, you may consider having students participate in the collaborative development of these ground rules but it's a good idea that you get them started with some essentials at the very least. For undergraduate students online, a good approach is to provide the option for students to co contribute additional ground rules if they feel something is missing from your already developed list. This way, students feel an opportunity to participate from the very beginning. Laying this groundwork may seem basic, but it's really fundamental to starting your students on the right foot. These steps begin to model yourself as a trustworthy community leader. Your students will feel safe, which is the foundation of sharing. It is also a critical element of instructor presence as it demonstrates that you care about the unique needs of your students. Sharing your teaching philosophy and community ground rules will make a big difference to the successful start of an online class from the student's perspective. So, what's the recipe for your online class going to look like? The choice is yours.